3D printing in 2025? Yeah, it's evolved. Fast. What used to cost thousands and break twice a week is now more affordable, more reliable, and straight up more exciting than ever. Whether you're a hobbyist, a student, or a hardcore engineer prototyping for production, there's a printer for you. I've tested a ton of 3D printers this year, and in this video, I'm breaking down five models that are actually worth your money. No gimmicks, just solid performance. Let's get into it. We're kicking things off with a big boy that doesn't come with a big price tag, the Elegu Neptune 4 Plus. This is an open frame FDM printer that gives you a huge 15.2 by 12.6 by 12.6 inch build volume. To put that in perspective, that's big enough to print helmets, cosplay armor, or multiple parts at once. And it still costs under 450. It supports all the major filaments, PLA, ABS, PETG, ASA, TPU, even nylon. And in testing, it was surprisingly hands-off. Once you get the initial bed leveling right, it just runs. Downsides? No filament included in the box, and you'll need a fair bit of desk space. But if you're looking for a large format printer that won't nuke your budget, the Neptune 4 Plus is your guy. Coming in at number 4 is the Creality Ender 3 V3. Yes, another Ender. But hear me out. This is not your dad's Ender 3 from 2018. Creality's clean things up here. You get auto bed leveling, a sleek new design, Wi-Fi connectivity, and a responsive touchscreen interface. Print speeds are faster, the quality is better, and it's just easier to live with day-to-day. -day. It supports a wide variety of materials – PLA, TPU, PETG, ABS, and even carbon fiber blends. Now, let's be real, it's still a budget printer. The fans are loud, and the build plate can lose adhesion over time unless you treat it. But if you want a solid, beginner-friendly printer with room to grow into mods later, the V3 earns its spot. Okay, multicolor printing used to be an expensive, fiddly mess, but not anymore. The Bamboo Lab A1 Mini Combo brings four-color printing to the budget crowd, and it's actually good. It uses the AMS light system to swap between four different filaments automatically. Great for toys, character models, and artistic prints. Setup is easy, the touchscreen's responsive, and the prints? Genuinely high quality, even at fast speeds. The downsides? Small print bed, just over 70 millimeters cubed, so no helmets here. And you'll waste some filament with color changes. But for under $300, this is the multicolor printer to beat in 2025. Perfect for hobbyists, students, or anyone who wants to make their prints pop. If what you care about is detail, this is where things get serious. The Formlabs Form 3 Plus is a stereolithography SLA printer that uses UV lasers to cure liquid resin into insanely precise models, down to 25 microns per layer. This isn't your typical filament printer. It's a full-on resin workflow system. You get the printer, the wash station, and the cure chamber, all optimized to work together. The results? Crisp edges, smooth curves, almost injection-molded quality. It's ideal for engineers, dental models, jewelry designers, or product prototyping. Yes, it's pricey, around $2,500. And there's a learning curve. You'll need isopropyl alcohol, post-processing gear, and some patience. But once you dial it in, the Form 3 Plus is an absolute workhorse. Taking the number one spot is the original Prusa MK4. And honestly, this was an easy call. Prusa has been refining its design since the i3 MK3 days, and the MK4 feels like the final boss version. It's an FDM printer with everything you'd want. Full automatic mesh bed, leveling rock-solid aluminum frame, super quiet operation, a redesigned extruder for cleaner prints, a bright responsive touchscreen, and yes, it supports a huge range of filaments. PLA, PETG, ASA, ABS, hips, even wood and composite blends. Print quality is top tier, setup is painless, and most importantly, it just works. It's not the cheapest option, around $950, but this is the printer you get when you're done messing around. Whether you're a maker, an educator, or a serious hobbyist, the MK4 is the gold standard in 2025. So there you have it, five of the best 3D printers in 2025. Whether you're printing toys, prototypes, cosplay props, or just vibing with multicolor dragons. Did your favorite make the list? Are you team filament or team resin? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're building. If this helped you out, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and as always, print smart, stay sharp, and keep those layers clean.